Hey guys, and welcome back to our process videos. I am so, 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 so sorry from the bottom of my heart that these process videos have not been coming to you for so long, but we had to get through all the basic setup of opening a new business and doing all those sorts of videos. So now I am able to finally get these process videos up to you using our brand new kits that we um, sent out to all of our fabulous customers at the beginning of July. Now this kit is our pretty little kit, which is our Project Life inspired kit. The cards are custom designed by myself and printed here in Australia. They're not the same quality as the Project Life cards or a Studio Calico quality, but they still do everything that a Project Life card should do. <laughs> You can ink them, you can mist them, you can draw on them, you can do everything you want with them. Just that the printing is that little bit different. And as you'll see in this video today, you can do what you would do with any other Project Life card. I have not been limited by these cards at all. Uh, they are single sided. Once again, that is just a, a starting out thing that we've had to do to minimize our costs and hopefully one day we'll be able to provide double-sided cards but for now they are just single-sided you still get some lovely designs and as you can see here all the cards used in this project life layout today are from my cards in the project the pretty little kit sorry and are the ones that we've printed so yeah so I've just started out as I always do with the kit and all the little embellishment stuff. Most of them came with the kit or they were the embellishment add-on kit and then I laid them out for the double page spread and now I'm focusing on the left hand side of the layout. Uh, this is a title card. I just love this newsprint with a pink splatter over the top. Of course I had to use the, the white doily. No layout is completely not a doily. Now I use the brand new um, South of Market thickers from Studio Calico. I love these but <laughs> I wrote week 15 and it's week 16 and I'm such a fool but I there it's easily changed and I do change it later on down the track um, but yeah that's gonna bug me for the rest of the video now with this uh, title card I do come back and change up things here there and everywhere and I was gonna use that beautiful July flare that I created and Kayla and Aid uh, made uh, exclusive for this kit but I realized that this is an April layout and I wanted to use my July button, that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> um, this layout was a little bit hard for me. As you can see with this picture here, it is of my beloved cat Bella, and unfortunately she passed away a couple of weeks ago. And although I wasn't crying when I was making this layout, I'm a little bit teary now, so it's a bit sad to, um, to see her. But yeah, she loves sitting in the sun. So I'm so glad that I can still document these photos and have her in my albums. <laughs> Get rid of the tears. <laughs> Gosh, I didn't plan to cry in this video. Anyway, um, so yeah, I use the gold stickers on the bottom of that picture of Bella. Uh, that are from a Sheet Tags Cloud 9, I think it is, gold foil sticker pack. And then on the coffee one, I use the Teresa Collins, I think they are, black mini alphas. And this is one of my cards here. I just added a few of the um, starboard stud things that did not come in the kit. I just loved them and had to use them anyway. And a few of the My Minds are Ashbury Hearts enamel dots that I loved and that was actually, that pack of enamel dots was what I based the entire kit off for this month. So <laughs> I had to use them. I could, you get a whole set of these enamel dots in the kit. Like, that's what we're trying to do with the Scrappery kits, uh, the, that we're trying to include some full products and also give you a sample of a few little bits and pieces. Um, which means essentially split packs. So you get the best of both worlds there. Now I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I think my mother called and I ended up talking to her for a little while. Whoopsies! Once again, getting out those chic tag um, gold foil stickers. They are just so delicious. And I also got the alphas in those. Um, they weren't for a kit, but I just ordered the extra ones and I can't wait to use them. 
I also noticed that I did a whole heap of extra journaling on this layout simply because most of the cards that I created for this kit were journaling cards and I think it's good to like get more journaling in my project life layouts because I have my project life layouts are very photo based. I just found the sequins. <laughs> I just realized I had sequins to use, that's why. Um, but yeah, I find my layouts are very photo heavy and I don't get a lot of journaling on there. So I'm glad that I was actually doing a fair bit of journaling this time around. I love this card down the bottom there, bottom left. I've never done one like it, but it just, it looks so good. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I use those South of Market thickers and a Chic Tags gold label sticker and a few of the My Mind's Eye enamel dots and I also used a gold thick sharpie that did not work and would have looked a hell of a lot better if it actually had worked but it's done and I just drew around the, the photo but that was of a photo wall that I've made for the lounge room and it just looks cute so I just I love that card now this that I'm cutting out now is actually a rub on from Party Swap I think or is it Studio Calico? I don't know, but this did not come in any of the kits, but I just, I love them. I got them from an end of financial year sale and I just had to use it. But the gold stars and the little blue, uh, the little blue, little black uh, letter stickers all came from the kit. They're just divine. I love those stickers. Like I, There's a few extras that I have here in the shop and I'm going to buy them because they are just amazing. I'm so happy to finally get creating again. As much as I love working in the scrapbook industry, I also I love creating. Creating is the reason why we start up these businesses, right? And when you start up a business, you don't have time to scrapbook. And I was so happy to sit down the other day and finally get this layout down. This card, I made a a list card with the numbers one to five on it and I've never used a list card in any of my project life layouts but I used one here because I needed to get the yellow on both sides even and I actually enjoyed doing lists I think I'm going to start including more lists in my layouts because it just helped me get down the process of the week and the, the important points of the week to document I just really like I really like that concept so expect to see more list cards in our project life kits our pretty little kids. Um, there's another photo of Bella. I don't know how or why it wasn't because she's passed away, but I just had a heap of photos of Bella from this week. So I include another one. This is actually, she's sitting in a green shopping bag, one of the environmental bags that we um, used to carry our groceries and I actually used it to go down to Sydney for the Project Life party. That's how long ago this layout was from. And she actually slept in it. She's never slept in bags or anything like that. And I thought it was so weird. Anyway, a few days later she peed on it. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh, that darling cat. Anyway, so what layout of mine is not complete without doing a few, uh, <laughs> few journaling strips on a card. And I just had to finish off a card with some old journaling strips. And I, I love this pink card. You actually can't see this video because it's so bright. But it is a pink wavy striped card with a white ink splatter on the bottom. It looks really cool. And here I am just changing around the cards for some reason. I don't know why that came to me, but I felt I had to change the cards. Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't be yawning. It's only 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically all I'm going to do with that layout. It's done. That's one of the quickest layouts I've done, actually. I must have just... I don't know if it's because there I am changing the 15 over to 16, but I don't know if it's because these cards are my own design and I sort of knew how to work with them. And whereas if you're working with someone else's designs, it's a little bit harder to... you got to think about how you're going to use them. But for these, I just found it so easy to use. And I had my layout done so much quicker than normal. But then I realized I had not used my signature Kayser Craft rhinestones that don't come in any packs yet, but we're trying to get some Kayser Craft included very soon. Uh, the embellishments are awesome. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Here are some close-ups of the layout. I hope you enjoy. You can see that pink card there. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. And if you want to check out the scrappery 
uh, and our kids club and our subscriptions just jump on over to the website links below in the description love you all bye bye